Okay, so <laughs> I don't know why it is so dark in this house. Like, I literally have so many lights on in this house. I think I need to invest in getting, like, ring lights or something because this is really bad. Um, but anyways... I'm going to rank the Disney princes. Now, to be fair, this is the Disney princes that end up with the Disney princess. So you won't see, um, you know, Hans. If you did, you'd be at the bottom because he's not a good dude. But you won't see Hans. You won't see Simba. You won't see... Basically, the official Disney princes and Kristoff. <laughs> so, yeah. There are 11 princes. And I'm going to go in order from my least favorite to my favorite. Let's go. So, in 11th place, I have Prince Charming from Cinderella. I know it's probably not fair to have him this low on the list, aka the bottom of the list, but like I can't get past the fact that he could not remember anything about Cinderella at all. Like it's like literally like I have this shoe and it has to fit somebody. Go find her. You don't want to know, I don't know, give, like, precursors, like, she had blonde hair, you know, anything? No, it's, like, literally, like, it belongs to a woman, so I guess he has that going for him. He knows that Cinderella's a woman. Seemed kind of obvious, but okay. Yeah, I'm not buying this whole, you know, Prince Charming idea. He's not charming. He don't remember nothing about Cinderella. He's at the bottom of the list. <laughs> In 10th place, I have Prince Adam, a.k.a. The Beast. Oh, boy. The Beast. Was a beast, for sure. Like, he was just, like, downright cruel for, like, majority of the movie. <laughs> like... And yes, he's redeemed at the end, but, you know, can't get over the past, dude. Like, you lock Belle up because she wants to take the place of her father, who, by the way, only wanted to steal one of your roses. Like, would it have really killed you to let him have it? Mm, not that I'm condoning stealing, but okay, so you lock him up, Belle takes his place, you keep her, like, prisoner, you're only somewhat nice to her because you think that she could be the one to break your curse. Um, you basically say, if she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all. Um, yeah, dude, you were not great for most of the movie. And therefore, you're near the bottom of the list. But I mean, I bet you can remember things about Belle. So, you got that going for you. Um... In ninth place, I have Prince Florian, a.k.a. the Prince from Snow White. Now, arguably, he could have been at the very, very bottom of this list. Because we don't really spend a whole lot of time with him. But you know what? He did seem like a pretty good dude. I mean, questionable behavior kissing the dead woman. Yeah, very questionable. But you know what? Seemed like a good dude. Seemed like he might have actually loved Snow White. You know, we didn't get a whole lot of time with him. But I can draw that conclusion. And therefore, that makes you better than the bottom two. Okay. In eighth place, I have John Smith from Pocahontas. <sighs> Aside from the very, very, very wrong um, depiction of, you know, John Smith and Pocahontas, this light is horrible. Um, aside from all of that, 
Like, he, he wasn't great. <laughs> like, he was not great. And, I mean, he does come around, I guess, and, you know, embraces, you know, the fact that Pocahontas is different, but her and her tribe are still, you know, people and going against what, you know, his people have been saying about them. But, eh, the, the real life version of all of this is like, just, I, I can't, like, I could try, but I can't. But I mean, even in the movie, like, he's, he's not great. So, yeah. In seventh place, I have Prince Naveen from Princess and the Frog. For most of the movie, he just screams narcissistic, spoiled, not very bright. He does come around in the end, I guess, and he does change for the better, but the, the beginnings of the movies are where I'm having trouble with these princes. Uh, yeah. That's where I'm landing on it. In sixth place, I have Prince Philip from Sleeping Beauty. I almost said from Aurora, but, you know, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, boy. I mean, he has more screen time than, you know, Prince Florian and Prince Charming. He also seems like a way better dude than them. So he is definitely the standard for the golden age of the Disney princes. Um, you know, he wanted love. He was willing to give up his kingdom to have love with this, like, peasant girl that he met. Um, he defeated Maleficent, so that's good, even though I love Maleficent. But, you know, she kind of needed to be defeated. Um, you know, he seems like a pretty cool dude. Does he have questionable behavior? Yeah, of course he does. They all do. But, um... You know what? I'm going to choose to believe that he was aware of the curse and what needed to be done. And that's why he kissed Aurora. But it's it only makes it a little less creepy. Um, don't go kissing people without consent. Do not do that. That does not work. It just makes you creepy and it makes us want to stay away from you. So, yeah, don't do that. Um, but that's how I'm going to choose to interpret it. In fifth place, I have Aladdin. Now, yes, he lied to Jasmine about being royalty. But also, like, I feel like that's, like, a minimalist lie. Like, he did take the time to get to know her, he respected her, he listened to her, he freed the genie, which he didn't technically really have to do, but he did it anyways. Um, so I feel like you lying about being royalty, just, it's a minor lie, I guess. Um, and I mean, it's not like Jasmine wanted to marry a prince anyway. She wanted to marry for love. And that's what she did. So it all worked out in the end. I think if like Jasmine was like, you know, oh yeah, I have to marry a prince and everything. And then he lied about being a prince. I'd sit there and say, he, 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 much bigger problem. But he lied about being royalty to get into the like inner circle with Jasmine type thing. So like... Yeah, but, I mean, he did respect her. He did listen to her. And therefore, I feel like you get some brownie points. Aladdin, you get some brownie points. 
In fourth place, I have Prince Eric. <sighs> Prince Eric can definitely be viewed as a very simple man and I mean definitely sort of that bridge between the golden age and the renaissance like he still has a lot of the traits of the golden age princes of like just being there um but you know he really did you know I guess love Ariel um he defeated Ursula he risked his life to defeat Ursula, so. But. I don't know. I just, I really like Prince Eric. And I can't explain why. I just do. In third place, I have Lee Shang from Mulan. Um, yeah, he was a good captain who looked out for his fellow soldiers and the country and you know, he didn't, like, he didn't really do anything bad. Um, you know, he does eventually trust Mulan um, in her plan to protect the Emperor, um, which shows growth. It shows growth. Um, I mean, I just love him. I love him. In second place, I have Eugene, a.k.a. Flynn Rider from Tangled. Um, did he start out a thief? Yes, he did. But ultimately, he ended up just looking out for Rapunzel. Like, Rapunzel's like, I want to go see the lanterns. Like, I want to go do that. He's like, I can't let you go out there on your own because you have never been outside of this tower. So... The world is a scary place, so I'm going with you. And he looked out for her and everything like that. And I love that. And also, admittedly, the Tangled series helped me put Eugene higher up on this list than maybe he should have been. But just watching their relationship develop and everything over the course of the series, I love him. But in first place, I have... Kristoff from Frozen. So, from the moment Kristoff met Anna, he was by her side. He was helping Anna, who was basically a naive princess that was in way over her head. Um, he helped her, you know, try to save her sister and to save her kingdom. And, you know, he was willing to let her go so that she could be saved by Hans. And, I mean, if you've seen Frozen, you know how well that worked out. It didn't. But, um, yeah, I mean, he was just a great man. He really was. And I like that. So, that is my ranking of the Disney princes. Um, let me know what your ranking is in the comments down below. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more Disney content.